All right. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? If you are on Facebook and our Team Lux Platinum group, please let me know if you can hear me. I want to make sure that everyone can hear me loud and clear. Don't know if we have any business partners joining our live stream yet. Oh yeah, here we go. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Toy. Natalie, Shaheen. Can you hear me loud and clear? If you're watching from our Team Lux Platinum group, can you hear me okay? Okay, thank you, Shaheen. All right, so we're gonna get started. So today we're gonna do some training on how to build your business using LinkedIn. I'm sharing with you my cell phone screen because that's where I do most of my prospecting. And if you ever want to uh, use your laptop, it just looks differently. So if you're like me and you use your cell phone a lot, this will be a lot easier for you to follow along. The other thing is the script that we're going to be using is the LinkedIn script, which I just shared in the Team Lux Platinum group. So if you um, go to announcements, you will see um, the script. Actually, I'm gonna mark it as an announcement right now. So if you click on announcements and go to the top, you can see here the script that we're going to be using. How to build your business using LinkedIn, okay? Um, in this script, and I'm just going to read the script out loud. Um, I know you all can read, but I'm going to read it out loud because this is being recorded and I want people to see the different ways that we can use this script using LinkedIn. For those of you that are not familiar with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a social media platform that people use typically to find jobs or opportunities. The reason why I like using LinkedIn is because everybody on LinkedIn is a professional. Whereas Facebook and Instagram, people are on Facebook and Instagram for many different reasons. Some people are on, you know, just to keep up with family and friends. Some people are on just to be nosy. Some people are on for entertainment. And so when you're trying to build your your business on social media using Facebook or Instagram, you have to kind of filter through to find the people that are looking for opportunities for the people that are business minded. Whereas everybody on LinkedIn is on LinkedIn because they're looking for an opportunity. It's a wonderful thing. All right. Now, one thing about LinkedIn is they have birthdays, just like Facebook shout, um, shares with you when someone has a birthday, LinkedIn does the same thing. So the birthday script, which is also in this script, I just added it to the bottom. The birthday script here can also be used on LinkedIn. The other thing that LinkedIn has is promotions. So if someone gets a promotion or they update their resume to you know their profile to show that they started a new role linkedin does that as well and so i have a script that you can use when someone has a new role right here the peak for new role or promotion so let's just start with the birthdays so and this again is something that you're going to do through messaging in LinkedIn, just like Facebook has Messenger, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone, LinkedIn has the same thing as well. So the birthday script is, OMG, have you heard? It's a national holiday. Happy birthday, Tom. Happy birthday, Mary. So this is where I personalize it with their name. I hope you are having an amazing day. Any special plans are going anywhere special. Again, I'm looking for them to respond so we can now have a conversation. So depending on what they say, they may say, oh, you know, thank you so much for reaching out. My husband's taking me out to dinner. Then I'm going to respond, well, I hope you have a fantastic day. If you decide you want to start planning a nice getaway next year, I'll be happy to help you plan it or show you how you can do it yourself and save money. Do you like to travel? This is the peak because they're going to say yes, right? And then once they say yes, then it's going to be, 
have you ever thought about becoming a travel business owner on the side so you can earn more, save more, travel more, and experience more? The moment they say yes, then that's when I'm going to share my story along with the preview ITA and the preview rep videos. All right. Now, let's go over the promotions. So again, LinkedIn, and I'm gonna show you shortly, will also in the notifications show you if someone has been promoted or they're in a new role. So this is where I will message them and I'll say, Congratu congratulations on your new role of whatever their new role is. And then I ask, how long have you been in so let's say someone was um, you know, in the marketing industry and they just got promoted to director of marketing. Congratulations on your new role as marketing director. How long have you been in the marketing industry? So now, again, I'm trying to get them to engage with me and they're gonna say, oh, I've been in the industry for three years, four years, five years, then I'm gonna respond. Let me ask you this, do you keep your options open in terms of making money outside of what you currently do? outside of marketing, outside of IT. Once they say yes, now I got them, right? Then I'm gonna, again, go straight back on pretty much to the Jappy script and I'm going to share the information. Here's where I kind of show the plan and I've tweaked this so that you guys can leverage my story or you can leverage anyone's story. I'm in, the, I'm in business development and I help position people on the money-making side of the $8 trillion travel industry. I've been a travel business owner for however many years. I currently have a network of travel business owners from all over the world and I'm looking to expand in your market. This opportunity may or may not be for you, but it's definitely worth learning more to find out. Here are two short videos, four minutes and three minutes to review. After watching, let me know if this is something you're interested in discussing further. And then you're gonna send them the preview ITA and the preview rep video. And then you do your follow-up. After having watched their videos, is this something you're interested in learning more about? If they say yes, you go right to the three-way call. Great, when are you available for a call so we can dis discuss further and you can decide if this opportunity is a good fit for you or maybe someone you know. And again, of course, when working social media, you always want to verify the time zones and get their cell phone number, all right? Then once the appointment's set, now you're going to send them the big picture video. Here's a detailed video to watch. Write down any questions. I'll be sure to answer them on our call, all right? If they're not interested, once you peek them, again, we're going to go right back to the Jappy script. Hey, I understand totally. If you know of anyone looking to make some extra money and travel more, you can just share these quick 40 second videos. Now you're sending the peak ITA and the peak rep video. Also, if you have any upcoming trips that you're planning, please give me opportunity to win your travel business. Mm -hmm. It was nice chatting with you. So again, all of this is pretty much very, very similar to the Jappy script. Um, and then just like on Facebook, you can friend, except on, on LinkedIn, it's called connecting. You can connect with new people. They can also send you a request to connect with you. Anytime someone sends me a connection request, I instantly peek them. I hit accept and then I peek them, right? Because I got to keep it moving. We got to go through the numbers. So when I peek them, this is what I say, the peek. How are you, Mike? I hope you're having an amazing day. I just wanted to reach out to see if you're keeping your income options open in terms of making money outside of what you're currently doing. And then again, personalize it. If you see that they're in pharmaceuticals, then say what you're currently doing in pharmaceuticals or what you're currently doing in real estate, whatever it is. If you are, I'd be happy to share what I've been doing. Our company has created 47 six-figure income earners in just four years, and my mentor and coach is one of them. She was able to walk away from her corporate job after just 20 months of starting her business, and now she is working directly with me to help me obtain my goal of whatever your goal is. If you're looking to retire early, say that. To retire or to be able to resign from my job in the next year or the next two years. Whatever your goal is, whether it be income or business related, you want to put your goal. 
if you're interested, I'll be happy to share. If you're not, no worries, totally cool. And it's still nice to be connected with you. So now you have a script for when you connect with new people on LinkedIn. You also have a script for when LinkedIn notifies you of someone getting a new role or promotion. And then now you also have a script of the birthdays. So now I'm gonna jump to the LinkedIn screen. Can everybody on Facebook still hear me okay? I see you everyone. Thanks for joining in. All right, so on LinkedIn, I have my profile set up from as, as a Planet Marketing rep, okay? Um, I don't have the travel agency because I don't want to book travel. I'm trying to build a network, right? And this is how you build your business. So this is what I have as my profile. Six-figure residual income earner helping people position themselves on the money-making side of the $8 trillion travel industry. Now, if you're not a six-figure income earner, you can put marketing rep helping people position themselves on the money-making side of the $8 trillion industry. Or you can put entrepreneur helping position themselves on the money-making side of an $8 trillion industry. Something like that but you wanna keep it just enough to make them curious. You don't wanna give them all the details and you also don't wanna throw out there that you're in network marketing because that could be a turnoff to people before they even understand what our business is about. So I find that um, using this makes people really curious like, hmm, six figures, travel. Yeah, this is something I'd be interested in. Maybe you put something in here um, again, you know, helping people create residual income or leave a legacy, whatever you want to do. Then um, about, I have, I'm the CEO of Lux Platinum Travel LLC. And that's pretty much where I end it. If you notice, I don't have anything on here that says planet marketing or IntelliTravel. Again, I want people to be curious and not start doing their own research. I want them to do their research with me. So on the bottom, when you click on your home screen, this is going to be posts that people that you are connect. I like this picture. Okay, sorry, I digress. <laughs> but that's hot. I got to remember that one. I'm going to like that. Um, but just like Facebook, this is kind of your news feed. So anybody that you've connected with, you can come here and see what they posted. This is another great place to friend or send connection requests. So if I see something like, uh, like this picture, this is a perfect picture, right? So Milton Kelly and there's 37 comments. So I'll go through here and whoever liked it, I may just, if it allows me to connect with them, I'll do it. Like Nancy Baker, let me see. And some of these people have their things blocked where you can't connect with them. Uh, I'm already connected with her, so that's why it's not showing up. I'm connected with him. I promise you there'll be someone here that I'm not connected with. There we go. And you just hit connect, right? Your invitation was sent. So I want you all to find a post on LinkedIn that has a lot of comments and send connection requests to the people. And see the great thing again about LinkedIn, everybody is your target. Everybody. You don't have to filter through anybody.
The other thing that you could do, like, let me click on this guy. When I hit connect with this gentleman, it'll give me suggestions of people you may know. So if I see someone and I like what they do, I'll just connect from here as well. I kind of avoid people who have foreign names because sometimes they may be from another country. So as long as they appear to be, you know, in the country and I kind of look at what they do for a living. Talent acquisition. I love people that are in human resources because they recruit. That's what they do. I love real estate agents. I love people in the entertainment industry. I love people that are in management positions. I love people that are in marketing. Retired military, love it. Authors, love them. That's what I'm saying. Like everybody is a great prospect on LinkedIn. Mindset coach, like that. Yacht broker, love that. Now, on LinkedIn, you can, you can only send so many invitations out to connect with people. So they'll give you an alert when you maxed out for the day. So again, don't do too many, but you can friend some people on LinkedIn, like as part of your daily method of operation, your income producing activities that you should be doing every single day. One of those could be friend new people on LinkedIn, or let me rephrase that, connect with new people on LinkedIn, friend new people on Facebook. Kind of work both of them. All right. I'm going to go to our team group and see if there's any questions before I move on. All right. Okay, someone asked, how do you delete and teletravel from your profile? All right, so, so if you go to your home screen and tap on your picture in the upper left-hand corner and then click on view profile, here you'll see the little pencil and that's where you can edit what you have in your profile. See, I had IntelliTravel in there, but then I hit it. I was like, nah, I don't want to put it there. So what you have for education? Under education, it had, and that's where I had IntelliTravel, um, but I kind of removed it. So you can't see it. See, so right here in this box is where if you want to show it, and then you can uncheck that box. Show above education in my intro or not. All right. And then you just hit save. All right. Let me see. All right. So I'm going to go back to home. And now I'm going to click on the other thing that you can do is you're not going to get a whole lot of notifications if you haven't been friending, connecting with people. So let me show you. I just showed you one way to find people to connect with, but another way is you can use hashtags. Remember, our target audience is the upper middle class. So we're looking for doctors, lawyers nurses, real estate agents, teachers, insurance brokers, anyone that's in a management position. So you can just do a hashtag search and type in teachers. And so anyone who's done a post, and then you can start following that hashtag. And you'll see there's over 70,000 people um, that are following that hashtag. So then you'll see the post from everyone who has 
use hashtag teachers like right here right and so if i want to connect with more teachers number one i can friend her right but of course i'm going to want to see where she lives she's in nigeria so i'm not friending her so i'll look for someone else like this person monica monica's in india not going to friend her she's in the united kingdom love it i can connect with her right and then i can again start friending some people from here that i like that she might be connected to or some of these suggestions right but then again i can go back to her post and see okay who commented on her post i may go and friend them too We love teachers because they're already personally developed, right? And think about this, teachers know other teachers. I love people that have catering businesses because when business is slow, they're looking for ways to generate more income and Guess what? They have to put in a lot of hours to do catering. I also love people who have MBAs because guess what else comes with that MBA? Mm -hmm. Student loan debt. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's the way so then if you click on network Lori I'm so glad you sent me a request because I'm going to use you as an example network is going to show you anyone who has sent you an invitation Again, the moment I accept an invitation, I'm peeking you. So Lori's already in the business, so she's a perfect person for me to use for this. <laughs> All right. Once I click check, it's going to show me, and then that little message pops up. So this is where I then go to my notes section. And I'm just going to paste. How simple is that? Right? And go this one, Lori. And remember, these are people that have sent me a connection request. So it's okay. I peeked them. They saw something. So if you have any connection requests right now, I want you to accept, address, hi whatever their name is, and peek them. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going. Again, if you set this up as part of your daily method of operation, you're gonna have a whole lot of new people to prospect. And if you notice, this is not taking a lot of time. So for those of you who you know, work full-time jobs, you might be going to school, you know, you don't have a lot of time to work your business. You might say, Tanisha, I only have an hour a day that I can commit to my business. Well, guess what? This is what you should be doing during that hour. This is an income producing activity. 
that's going to lead to the three-way call. And the more people you connect with and the more active you are, the more connection requests you will have. And I can tell you, I don't work LinkedIn every day like I should. Um, but if you set this as a daily method of operation, you will not run out of people to connect with. I promise you that. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is LinkedIn is, again, for professionals. So people are gonna be more active Monday through Friday. A lot of times on the weekends, you may not get responses right away. All right. I'm going to jump to our team group and see if anybody has any questions so far. Is this information helpful to a lot of you? Awesome. Samantha said, this is great. Definitely killing this. <laughs> Here I come directorship. All right, the hashtags. So I have several hashtags that I'm following. Hashtag teachers, hashtag event planners, hashtag entrepreneurship. So you can, um, oh, here's some more. Hashtag manager, hashtag director, hashtag attorney, hashtag real estate, hashtag travelholic, hashtag health and wellness, hashtag leadership, administrative assistance, <laughs> airports, technology. And then I also hashtag some places that I want to follow, like Melbourne, United Kingdom, mm -hmm. Europe. You could do hashtag um, business. I kind of stayed away from hashtag travel because it was just showing me a lot of people who are already travel agents. So I kind of stayed away from that. You could do that, hashtag home-based. All right, I'm checking our comments in our Team Lux group, see if anybody has any questions. Thank you, Stephanie. She said, yes, great information. Ruth says, awesome. Akisha said, yes. Toy said, yes, of course. Almina said, yes, thank you. Trinika says, love it. Excellent, 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 excellent. All right. The other thing is, posting you want to post on linkedin just like you do on facebook so i'm gonna share with you just some of the posts that i do on here i'm gonna go to my profile and here is one of the posts i did now on linkedin it limits how many characters you can post. So you can't do it like this is pretty much, a, this is kind of a long post, but it was even longer on Facebook. So I had to edit out uh, some of the things. When I post on Facebook and when I post on LinkedIn, I'm really trying to talk to the people that are on the fence. I really try to talk to the people. I'm trying to also plant seeds with the people who say they want to change their life, but haven't made a move yet. So I'm kind of dripping on them, trying to get them to change their mindset. That is the biggest thing that is preventing people from partnering with you. It's their mindset. They have an employee mindset. They have a mindset that everything outside of a job is a scam or a pyramid scheme or whatever. So my posts are always talking to those people. So I'm gonna read this 
post. Um, and the other thing is you also always want to do a call to action, which is private message me for more information about this opportunity. You never just want to say post interested in the comments or something like that, because number one, if there are poachers out there, they will get to your people before you do. Let's say you work a full-time job and someone responds to your post that you posted at 8 a.m. and you can't, you don't check your LinkedIn until six o'clock at night when you get home. Someone like me, right, who's home <laughs> full-time, like, oh, she has eight people that said interested. Let me reach out to them, right? Mm -hmm. There are people that do that. So you want to tell them to private message you so that no one knows who your prospects are. So here's a post to, again, try to get people to kind of change their mindset. Um, if someone would have told me 10 years ago that I could start a home-based business for $200, work it part-time while still working my full-time job and positioning myself to earn enough income to retire after less than two years, I would have jumped at the opportunity without hesitation. Why didn't someone tell me about this when I was in my 20s or 30s? I never could have imagined I would be in a position to resign from my corporate job at 45 years old after only working my travel business for 20 months. It has been two years since I left corporate America and I haven't looked back. I wouldn't trade this newfound time freedom for the world. They say entrepreneurs will work 80 hours a week for themselves to avoid working 40 hours a week for someone else and that is so true. I now have even more time to help other people who are looking for an early retirement plan or maybe just a way to supplement their income. Private message me if you would like to know how you can be self-retired in the next three to five years or supplement your income. Retirement is not about age, it's about income. And then I did a couple of hashtags and had this cool meme that I found off of Pinterest, right? And look how many views it has, 139 views. No comments, but views, right? Now, I can see who liked it. And again, I can go now and peek these people, if I haven't already done so. Ooh, hi, Larry. Oh, so Larry is someone that I peek. We'll get to him later. <laughs> Let's see, Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen liked, so he's someone, oh, again. So these are people that I've had kind of already peaked, but they liked my post. Again, I've already peaked them, right? And you'll see one thing about LinkedIn, sometimes it's kind of hard to complete an entire conversation because they're usually at work and people don't check linkedin as much as they check facebook so sometimes it'll be like a week you know before you get a response or something so you give a little bit of chit chat back and forth and then you send the, um, the video. yeah it just depends how we connect it is it that i'm accepting a connection request is it that i sent them a connection request was it a happy birthday it just depends on what it was but i'm looking to see if there's someone who liked it um like Joanne Davis, but see, I can't send her a message because I have to have premium. So I'll catch her once she accepts my connection request. So again, I got 139 views, but only three people liked it. So those are the three people that I can reach out to. Now, LinkedIn has premium. And if you pay, I would be able to see a little bit more information, but I'm cheap and I don't need to spend money because I still have access to a lot of people. I don't know if premium allows you to see who views. I believe it does, but yeah, I believe it does. So if you want to spend your money on that, you can do that. But as you can see, it's really not necessary, right? The other thing, right? I will share a new business partner announcement. I'm very specific about who I share. Um, I want people whose pictures look professional. Remember, LinkedIn is a professional community. So I wanna show that the people that are joining the business are other professionals. So I look at you know, what was written about their story, you know, why they got started in their background and stuff. And Twyla Peters, 
perfect, perfect. This picture is very professional. It's going to speak to my LinkedIn followers. Um, you know, she has a, um, a nonprofit organization. Love that. She also has tax service experience, business or whatever. So she was a perfect person for me to share with my LinkedIn community. There's some other people who join our team. Great, but maybe the picture that was used for their banner, I don't like it, right? So you wanna be very specific. Again, know your audience. They're professionals, so you wanna you know, choose people. And look, we got 138 views on hers, right? One person liked it. So let me see if this is somebody I can peek. I see. She's in DC. Perfect. Oh, see, we've already connected. All right. So let's look at another post. So this is a post I did with me and my son. Again, I'm speaking to, I'm trying to now get to the parents who claim they want to leave a legacy for their kids. I say claim because everybody says it, but what are they doing about it, right? So I'm trying to, again, change people's mindset. Meet my son, Jace. Jace will be 10 years old next week. I made a $200 investment three and a half years ago when he was just six years old to start a travel business. And now that business is generating a six figure residual income. Way before Jace turns 18 years old, our business will be generating a seven figure residual income. And long after I leave this earth, the income from our business will provide long term financial freedom for his children and his children's children. You have the power to set your children up for success. Don't just wait until you die to leave your kids a life insurance policy that pays out one time because once that money is spent, it's gone. Start a travel business now that will pay them for the rest of their lives and their children's lives. Break the generational curse of lack. Ask yourself this, where would you be right now if your parents had purchased a business in the number one industry in the world when you were just six years old? If you would like more information on how to leave a legacy for your family and create financial freedom by starting a travel business, post legacy in the comments below or private message me. That had 373 views. Nine people. So again, I can go through if I haven't already done it. He's in New Zealand, not gonna connect with him. I've already spoken to her. She's watching, 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 been watching for years, hasn't done anything. Have We're friends on Facebook. All right, that's not doing it, right? She has a weird name, D-I-E-U-N. A-N-E. So I'm just gonna use that initial peak. She's someone I used to work with. Mm -hmm. All right. So again, I'm just going to hit up everybody on here that I'm able to. Oh, she and I already spoke. Switzerland. I already talked to her. All right. And again, once you connect with them, when you post in LinkedIn, now your, your posts are going to show up in the news feed of the people you connected with, just like on Facebook.
All right, here's a different uh, post. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's learning to dance in the rain. Love that. And the posts I did with that are, too many of you are putting your future on hold because you are going through a storm. We're all either going into a storm, we're in a storm, or we're coming out of a storm. If you're gonna go through the storm anyways, you might as well work on your dreams in the process so you can be closer to your goals when you come out on the other side. Life is going to always happen. Stop waiting for the perfect time. There's no such thing as perfect time. There will never be a time when you have too much money and too much time, never. So if you're going, if you're looking for a sign, this is it. Go for it, jump in, don't look back, right? Didn't do a call to action. You don't always have to do one. It's not always about, you know, sometimes you just want people to think, right? And because I'm constantly working LinkedIn, they're following me, they're watching, and you'll see this one has 299 views. Six people did an action on it. So I can go through here again, and anybody that I haven't already peaked, I can peek them. right all right someone asked what countries do you not prospect aside from nigeria i only prospect in the countries that we're licensed to do business in so if you go to the planet now blog and scroll to the bottom you'll see the ita map that shows you all the countries that we are licensed to do business in So I don't connect with anyone that's not in a place that I can actually sell them the business. Have you received an update on Canada? Nope, just this year. Only that it's gonna, Canada will happen this year was the last that I heard. All right, I'm gonna go to Team Lux Platinum group and see if there's any questions. No questions, all right. Now, we're going to go to notifications. Here you go. Try premium free for a month. So this will show you what you get with premium. Who's viewed your profile? Right? That's a good way to prospect people. Right? Um, you can send a direct message to anyone. This is going to be $15 a month. It gives you unlimited profile browsing, company page insights, job applicant insights, and expert lead video courses. So that's what you get if you pay for premium, uh, which I guess uh, after free trial, you'll pay $29.99 a month. So, and you can cancel for any time. So you have to, actually, they're all different. Premium business, recruit light. This might be a better one. Uh, who's viewed your profile? Unlimited profile revenue. Candidate tracking. I don't know. It's after free trial. This one is $119.99 a month. Sales is $79.99 a month. Um, premium business is $59.99 a month. Premium career is $29.99 a month. So if that's something that you want to invest your money in, knock yourself out. All right. So here we go. Look who's celebrating birthdays. So I just click on that and say happy birthday. I'm going to now go to my birthday script. And then I personalize it right here.
So I want everybody to check their LinkedIn and see if you have any birthdays and go ahead and send them the birthday script. All right, so that's notification. So now you know how to do the birthdays. Now, here's a notification about starting new positions. So there's nine, 10 people. All right, so say congrats. As soon as you click on that, I had already sent him one. If you notice, congrats on your new role how long have you been in the events business he didn't respond so moving on i'll go to her and let me see uh business development so now i'm going to go to the script for new role But I'm going to do it in pieces because I want to get them to respond first. Right. So once she responds, then I'll go to this next one. Let me ask you this. Right. <clears throat> Say director of what is he in? Life safety and compliance. So and facilities management. So I'm gonna do this. Again, I'm just trying to get them to engage. And then once they respond, then I'm just gonna go right back to the script. I'm gonna say, let me ask you this. Do you keep your options open in terms of making money outside of what you're currently doing? If they say yes, I'm gonna show them the plan and then do the follow-up. So super, super simple. And that is how you do birthdays. That is how you do everything. So now what I want to show you guys, and let me check um, Team Lux Platinum Group to see if anybody has any questions before I move on to the next. <laughs> Dorothy said, thank you for the great training. About to get my LinkedIn birthday party on. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now I want to share with you, because um, we're at, almost at the end of this training, but I want to share with you just some conversations on some of the responses that I've gotten, okay? So this is kind of random. I didn't pre-look up anybody, um, but I want to show you something. Okay, so here's a good one. So this guy here, I just peeked him. Hi, how are you? I hope you this was a New Year's post. So if you guys remember, right when New Year's hit, I sent a script saying this is a great time to start prospecting people because everybody's making their New Year's resolution to, you know, get out of debt, live their best life, all that good stuff. So it's a great way to to just have a reason to reach out to people. So I sent this on January 25th. I hope your new year is off to a great start. Just wanted to reach out to see if you are keeping your income options open to earn some extra money on the side of what you are currently doing. If you are, I'd be happy to share what I've been doing that has helped me create 
a six-figure residual income in just three years. If you're not, no worries, totally cool. And it's still nice to be connected with other professionals like yourself. I don't usually say that on Facebook, but I say it on LinkedIn. And then he tried to peek me. He said, thanks. He spelt my name wrong. However, I think that I have an even better option for you to consider. Please watch this video and I don't know, he said, send me feedback, um, being a licensed financial advisor. The last thing Tanisha wants to do is talk about stocks and stuff like that, right? So my question to him is, how long have you been with them? Right. So I'm going to find out a little bit more about him. I'm going to find out how long he's been with the company. I'm going to find out, is he building a team? How big is his team? And then when he tells me how many people he got, and then I'm going to tell him how many people I got. And then that's going to shut that conversation down. All right. So people will try and prospect you. All right. So let's look at this one sent the same message to Rodney. He said, hello, Tanisha, happy new year to you. All is well on this end. I just celebrated my birthday on Sunday. I'm always interested in new possibilities. Well, I hope you had an amazing birthday. I'm on the money-making side of the travel industry, been a travel business owner for three and a half years, da, 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 right? And then I sent him the preview videos. And so now just now, and then I sent the follow-up, after watching, is this something you're interested in learning more about? Waiting for his response. So this person reached out to me first. Hi, thanks for accepting my invitation. How are you? What specific aspects of my profile led you to decide to accept my invitation, having not met me yet? That was a good one, right? And I said, I'm always looking to expand my professional network. Your profile projected a professional that is about his business and helping people. You checked all my boxes. How long have you been in financial services? And he says, not long. And then again, I peek him. Let me ask you this. Do you keep your options open in terms of making money outside of what you do? Simple. This one was funny. Uh, I peeked her. She said, hi, Tanisha, no thank you. I currently have too much on my plate with three jobs. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it though. And I said, three jobs? You do know that three jobs are for three people, right? May I ask what your three jobs are? And she said, sure, I'm a recruiter, resume writer slash editor, and an attorney. Main job is recruiting though. And I said, you're a busy woman. Well, if you ever decide you're open to learn how to position yourself to not have to work three jobs, please let me know. And I go right into my story and, you know, say this opportunity may or may not be for you, but it's definitely worth learning more to find out about. Now, I could have included the videos, but I kind of want to wait and see what she does, see if she even responds, because I'm looking for the hungry, right? I'm, and I'm also looking for people that are assertive, right? that aren't afraid to say what they want. Um, let me show you this one. This one worked out great. Um, <laughs> right, everyone's laughing here at my home because, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I got a notification that Aaron Jewell um, got a promotion or started a new role as a life coach. So I peeked her, congrats on your new role, Aaron. How long have you been a life coach? She said, thank you, Tanisha. I've been coaching for many years, just finally decided to make it my dedicated profession. And I said, that was me several years ago. I was on a weight loss journey and people started asking me for help. So I turned what I was doing for free into a business. I was hoping to build it to get me out of my job. However, I quickly realized that was not going to happen as there are only 24 hours in a day. So that limits the amount of people I could coach at a time. Do you work full-time too at a job? She says, hi, Tanisha. Good for you for taking and sharing your success with other people. It truly warms my heart to hear that. Like you, I worked full-time when I started on this journey, but it soon became apparent that I could not devote myself to the transformation of others and myself while working in what was a very negative, disempowering environment. So I took the plunge 
which is in a way what I coach. It would be great to set up a quick call about 10 minutes or so, and we can talk a bit about your situation and look at getting you back to doing what you love. She's trying to recruit me for her coaching business. And I said, thank you. I'm actually doing what I love now. I left wellness coaching alone and switched industries to something more lucrative and rewarding. I am now a director of business development. I help people position themselves on the money-making side of the travel industry. I've been a travel business owner for three and a half years. After just 20 months, I was able to quit my corporate job. And eight months later, my husband was able to quit his job too. This business now pays us a six-figure residual income, which is no less than $8,333 a month. I currently have a network of over 1,200 travel business owners from all over the world, and I'm looking to expand in your market. This opportunity may or may not be for you, but it's definitely worth learning more to find out. Here are two short videos. After watching, let me know if you're interested in discussing further. I sent her the preview ITA and a preview rep. When was this conversation? That was January 28th, February 10th. Hi, Tanisha, just had a chance to look over the videos. I'm intrigued, would like to know more. I didn't respond until the 13th. Awesome, when are you available for a call so we can discuss further and you can decide if this opportunity is a good fit for you or maybe someone you know? The soonest would be Monday morning around 11. Perfect. Are you Eastern Standard Time? Yes, I am. Me too. What number should I call? I'll be calling from. To make a long story short, I had a conversation with Aaron. On what day was that? February 13th. And invited her to the travel party at my home on February 18th. And she's in the business. And she's bringing her fiance in on Tuesday. He's coming to the travel party at my house on Tuesday. Perfect textbook. Again, if you can really understand what people's business is, you can tweak your message to touch it. When she said life coaching, I don't care if you're a life coach, a health and wellness coach, the fact that there's only 24 hours in a day limits how many people you can coach. I know that from experience. The other thing with um, life and wellness coaches is that people who spend money on that, that's a bill. And if 70% of Americans are living check to check, they can't afford a life coach. So that means the life coaches and wellness coaches of the world are not making any money or not, like, not the money they would like to make. So this is a great opportunity to present to them um, for them to supplement her, their income. And Erin, she's a doll. I mean, she, she came to my house yesterday and we did training together. Um, but I never told her, stop doing your coaching. No, keep doing that. If it's what you love and it's your passion, keep doing that. But over here, let's use this business opportunity to make you some money now so that you can still do what you love, right? So it's not about telling people to stop doing what they're doing. This is not about them quitting their job or quitting their passion. It's about saying you can use this to supplement your income while you're still doing what you love. Can you go back a little earlier than you said to yourself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was wondering if we So I used the new role script on her. All right, so let's see if we can find somebody else so you can see in Facebook. Um, here's another person congratulating them on their new role. How long have you been in advertising? Been with the agency since last summer. Awesome. How do you like working in advertising? I absolutely love it. That's awesome. Let me ask you this. Do you keep your options open? Again, we just want to find the people that are looking. Um, this is someone that I peep, and she's with Planet Marketing, <laughs> right? So that was awesome. Let's 
this one was interesting. Uh, thanks for the connection. He sent me a message. Thanks for the connection. I said, likewise, how long have you been in television? He said, 2013, learning more each and every day. I said, sounds exciting. Let me ask you this. Do you keep your options open in terms of making money outside of television? Mm -hmm. Darling, I hate anything that has to do with money. I have a much higher purpose in life and money <laughs> is the least of them. I want nothing to do what killed and raped our history and culture sorry and i said no need to be sorry i respect your feelings about money i used to share a similar point of view so this is where you get into i know how you feel i felt the same way blah blah right i'm sure you guys have heard that right so i say here i used to share a similar point of view I now look at money much differently. I'm looking to help as many of our people as I can become financially independent of the job system so that they can break the generational curse of lack that has plagued our people. So now I'm talking about he's African American and I'm speaking to what his sweet spot is, right? <laughs> I believe in teaching entrepreneurship so we can design the life we want to live and have options. Um, I meant to say, in fact, the company I'm partnered with was founded by a black man, and it's more than just a business. It's a movement to free people. And he said, I agree. And then I give my story, right? The short version of my story here. The opportunity may or may not be for you, but it's definitely worth learning more to find out about. And I say, check this out and let me know your thoughts. Now, let's see, what did I send him? I sent him a video, but it was not the preview rep or the preview ITA. I, it's, it may not open up in here. I sent him one of our videos that shows more of the culture. Mm -hmm. Might've been, I can't remember which one it was. Might've been one of the convention ones or, I can't remember, but it was more about the culture and not about the business. I wish it would come up because I really want to see. I don't know which one it was because it won't open. So I'm not sure which one it was. And he says, but I have a purpose to end racism. Money gets in my way. I already work 18 hours a day and have no time for anything. I gave up my marriage, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I admire your drive. He said, thank you. Like what? Was it Elevate? I'm busy. Yeah, it might have been. Um, you're welcome. Still check out the video I sent you. If you come across anyone that may be interested, please refer them to me, right? So he may not be my target, but he knows people. So I'm asking for the referral. He said, will do. Thank you. Peace and blessings. He said, I will be an advocate for you. And I said, same to you. And then he said, oh, he thought I was, he thought I had a book and he was willing to buy it to support me. <laughs> I said, no, maybe in the future, right? So that was good, right? So that is how I work LinkedIn. I'm gonna go back to our Team Lux Platinum group to see if anyone has any questions. Going once. Going twice. I know there's a slight delay, so I'm going to give it a moment. Good thing I started recording this in our Facebook group because I totally forgot to record it on Zoom, <laughs> which was the whole point. But all right, no questions? All right, guys, so go ahead and work your LinkedIn. We have, what, eight or seven more days for the contest, the March Madness contest. Uh, sign four new business partners, and at convention, you get a signed football from Mr. Bradley. So now that you're using LinkedIn, go ahead and work your LinkedIn and secure uh, your football. Keep in mind that the 28th is on a Friday. That's payday. So now would be a great, oh, look at this. I'm going to jump to LinkedIn because I just got a message for, from someone randomly. Hold on. From one of the messages I sent earlier.
Andy Hinton, right? I just sent this and he said, I would be open to hear what opportunities you have. I love, I'm so glad you asked Andy. Uh, <laughs> right? And again, copy paste. Super, super simple. I get that, but they're asking me that. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to copy this. Yeah, exactly. Boom. That's it, right? And then I'll follow up with him, and that'll be the end of that. So that was great. You guys got to see. And let me see, what does he do? So he's in Tallahassee and he sells credit card processing things to business owners. In the, in the world of PayPal, <laughs> I don't think he's probably making the money he'd like to make because companies are not using credit card processing machines. But I don't know what product he has. Doesn't matter, not interested, um, but I'm going to work him and see what he does. All right, so that is how you work LinkedIn. Again, work your LinkedIn, guys. Balance it out with Facebook. In the future, there'll probably be some other new social media platforms that come out. Don't be afraid to check them out and try new things. All right, so this concludes our training for today. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Be great, be prosperous. Bye.